he asked them for their recommendation based on the conversation that they had on Monday. He asked them to put that recommendation in writing, but they came to him on his own. And again, the president had lost confidence in Comey. Monday, you met with the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Oh, Rosenstein. Right. Did you ask for a recommendation? Uh, what I did is I was going to fire Comey. My decision. It was not. You had made the decision before they came uh, in. The I, I was going to fire Comey. Uh, I, there's no good time to do it, by the way. Uh, they, because in your letter they you said I, I accepted accepted their recommendation. Yeah, well, they so you also, had already made the decision. Uh, oh, I was going to fire regardless of recommendation. So there was they, really room. He made a recommendation. He's highly respected. Very good guy. Very smart guy. Uh, the Democrat. The Republicans like him. Uh, he made a recommendation, but regardless of recommendation, I was going to fire Comey. The Trump administration didn't even take the most basic step of getting their story straight. There's a way to fire FBI Director James Comey that brings out much less criticism, but they took no steps to make that the case. If they'd made it clear from when they first came in that they had serious concerns about Comey or fired him right away, people would see that as much more believable. If they had done it during a time when there was just less talk about the Russia investigation, if they had appointed a special prosecutor or asked for a special prosecutor to be appointed, that would have made it much, much less controversial. If they'd handpicked a new replacement that was very well respected and not someone who had any connection to Trump or his campaign, that would have also made it less controversial. But they didn't do any of that and they didn't even come up with a consistent story. First it was Rosenstein, now Trump was going to fire him out long, first it was because of the Hillary Clinton email scandal, now it's because he's simply not doing a good job or he's a showboat. Look. He's a showboat. He's a grandstander. The FBI has been in turmoil. You know that. I know that. Everybody knows that. This is very basic stuff that doesn't have anything to do with ideology. This is just doing the basic minimum to stay alive in politics. And they didn't even have the competence to do that, which makes you really question what else they don't have the competence to handle.